Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the time that you have uh, anointed me for this prayer for healing of your people that have been afflicted with sickness or illness or infirmities. I want to thank you that your Holy Spirit is speaking through my lips on this Sabbath. I believe that you still heal on Sabbath and that you still restore our bodies. I believe in the word that I have read and studied and that your anointing poured it into my heart. I pray that the hearer right now that is listening to this right now, I pray for such a powerful anointing of faith and belief to come over the individual that they will know at the end of this that their body is healed and they will confess it until the full manifestation make itself known. I want to thank and bless and praise you right now, Father. Hallelujah. I thank you for what you're doing right now. Father, I pray forgiveness of my sins, known and unknown, and the forgiveness of the one that is listening to this audio right now. Forgive them of their sins, and I touch and agree with the prayers of their heart that's according to your will. And your will tells us that you desire for us to be healed, whole, and well. You strengthen, you strengthen me and help me, Isaiah 41, 10. You can repeat some of these things after me that it will give you strength. Yahuwah heals me and saves me. I praise him, Jeremiah 17, 14. Yahushua suffered for my healing. I accept my healing, Isaiah 53, 6. I pray in faith. I am healed. All is forgiven me, James 5, verse 15. Truth resides in me. I am healthy. 3 John 1 verse 12. I call upon all assistance to be healed. James 5 verse 14. My mind is focused on a joyful life. It heals me. Proverbs 17 verse 22. Yahushua heals me and forgives me. 1 Peter 2 24. Yahuwah heals with an abundance of peace and truth, Jeremiah 33, verse 6. I bless Yahuwah. He forgives, heals, and redeems me. He crowns me with love from above, Psalm 103, verses 2 and 4. The healing of the mighty God of Israel that tells us to call things that are not as though they were. Hallelujah, giving praise unto the Almighty, who the word says, have faith in Yahuwah. I tell you the truth, if someone says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that what he says will happen, it will be done. Mark 11 verses 22 and 24. And this is the confidence that we have before him, that whenever we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in regard to whatever we ask, then we know that we have the request that we have asked from him, 1 John 5, 14 and 15. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even even as your soul prosper. 3, John 2. Hallelujah. We know that physical health is the will of, of Elohim. Emotional and mental health is the will of Yahuwah. Prosperity is the will of Yahuwah. Knowing this, we focus on believing that Yahuwah always honors his word and answers petitions, which are made according to his will. And his will is not hidden from his children. We have the scripture and we have the Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In order to deepen our faith in Yahuwah, we are to speak the word of Yahuwah. 
recount his promises, review the scriptures which testify to his goodness and grace towards his children. We are to internalize the word of Yahuwah, personalize it, make it Yahuwah's specific revelation to us, to you and me. Speak the word of Yahuwah out loud. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. What follows us from affirmations based upon scriptures dealing with the healing of mind, body, and soul. The affirmation of scripture restate in a way that the word applies specifically to your situation and to my situation. Know not that you are the temple of Yahuwah and that the spirit of Yahuwah dwelleth in you. Hallelujah. That's 1 Corinthians 3.16. My body is the temple of Yahuwah. His Holy Spirit dwells within me. I yield my body as a fit vessel for your habitation. Yahuwah, fill me with your sweet Holy Spirit. I will nurture this body, pamper it, keep it healthy and pure because the truth does not belong to me. This body is yours. I am blessed to be its steward. Help me to do right by this body that you have given me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is said in your word, at that day we shall ask. We shall ask in the name of the Messiah. And he says, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came out from Yahuwah, John 16, 26 and 27. Thank you for your healing touch, Father. I called out to you and you heard my cry. You raise me up from the pit of affliction. You loose me from the grip of ill health. My spirit bears witness that I am your child. Your spirit is my comfort. I am filled to overflowing with your love and grace. I know without a doubt that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor heavenly rulers, nor things that are present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate me from your love and kindness. I am healed, mind, body, and soul. The strife that Yahushua bore have provided for my healing. His chastisement has brought me peace. I am clothed with the whole armor of Yahuwah. I am guarded against the destroyer. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Principalities, powers, rulers of darkness uh, cannot overcome a child of Yahuwah. I love you, Father Abba. I praise you, Father Abba. Hallelujah. I give you praise and I thank you for everything that you are doing in my life. I give you praise for your healing, your healing touch. I give you praise for watching over us. I give you praise right now. I am so thankful. I am so grateful. In Matthew 8, 1 through 3, large crowds followed Yahushua as he came down the mountainside. Suddenly a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Yahushua the man said, If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Yahushua reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. And that's what Father said to you. Whatever illness that you have, Messiah is saying, be healed. Be healed in my name. Hallelujah. Some more examples to encourage us. By the touch of Yahushua, we can be healed and clean. Matthew 8. We already said that one about, about, the, lepr about the leprosy. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew 4, 23 and 25. Healing power flows into my life through Yahushua HaMashiach. Say that. Healing power is flowing into my life through Yahushua HaMashiach and bringing forth healing. In Matthew 4, 23 through 25, Yahushua traveled throughout the region of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. 
news about him spread as far as Syria, and people soon began bringing to him all who were sick. And whatever their sickness or disease, or if they were demon-possessed or epileptic or paralyzed, he healed them all. Large crowds followed him wherever he went. People from Galilee, the, the, the ten towns, Jerusalem, from all over Judea, and from east of the Jordan River. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's healing you and healing me. I will not rejoice over my sin, Father. Please forgive me. Let there be tears of what you have done. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Let there be sadness instead of laughter and gloom instead of joy. Humble yourself before Yahuwah, and he will lift you up in honor. And what what my father is saying right here, repent of any sins that you have, have done, and he will lift you up out of the miry place of the miry clay. He is taking care of you. Galatians, Galatians 2. Uh, verses 20 through 21, my old self has been crucified with Messiah. It is no longer I who live, but Messiah lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of Yahuwah, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not treat the grace of Yahuwah as meaningless. For if keeping the law could make us right with Yahuwah, then there was no need for Messiah to die. But Messiah dies. Hallelujah so that we may live and be forgiven and healed so that we can walk among the people. Hallelujah. Glorifying our Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Galatians 1, 23 and 24, as they knew was that the people were saying, the one who used to persecute us is now preaching the very faith he tried to destroy. And they praised Yahuwah because of me. When this happened, I did not rush out to consult with any human being. I want to thank you right now, Father. I thank you, Father. My dear brothers and sisters, if someone among you wanders away from the truth and is brought back, you can be sure that whoever brings the sinner back from wandering will save that person from death and bring about the forgiveness of, of many sins. James 5, 16 to 17. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Elijah was as a human as we are, and yet when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall, none fell for three and a half years. Hallelujah. Confess your sins. Confess your faults. Confess and ask Father to forgive you. Hallelujah. Prayers offered in faith will heal the sick. That's what it is said in James 5, 14 and 15. Hallelujah. It said, call for the elders. And the elders praying over you. So it says you will be healed. You who will lead us into this new life. Hallelujah. That we have in the Messiah. By, by his wounds, uh, we are healed. By his wounds, you are healed. I am one of Father's anointed one that he called and set aside. There have been miracle signs and wonders following me. So when I come to you and, and say, in the name of Yahushua, be healed from all manner of sickness, illness, and affliction. I pray that Father will give you the anointing to believe and that you remember what it says in Hebrews chapter 11, call things that are not as though they were. So this is the Sabbath day. Believe. No matter what you've seen in, since you've been in this world, we are in the United States. There are people that do believe and have received their healing. So I pray that Father bless you today and that with a knowing that you are healed in the name of Yahushua, HaMashiach. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you for the miracles. We thank you for the signs and the wonders that that you are sharing with us and for the healing virtue and power in the name of Yahushua. Go your way, for the Father has touched your body, touched your mind and your soul, and believe in your heart that you are healed. Father, we bless and thank you. Yahuwah bless you going out, coming in. Yahuwah's countenance shine upon you and through you and grant you peace. Grant you wisdom, grant you knowledge, grant you understanding, grant you might, grant you counsel in the fear of him. 
to walk in the excellence of your healing so that you may go on with the work of the Most High. Speak his word. Believe his word. Speak his word over your body. I am healed. Hallelujah. I'm healed from high blood pressure. I'm healed from diabetes. I'm healed. Hallelujah. From aching hands and feet. I'm healed. My bones are healed. My blood is healed. My organs are healed. I am well. My eyes are healed. My gums are healed. My ears are healed. My nostrils are healed. My taste buds are healed. My neck bones are healed. My hand bones are healed. My foot bones, feet, foot bones are healed. My feet bones are healed. My ankles are healed. My legs are healed. My thighs are healed. My pelvics are healed. My back is healed. My ribs are healed. My neck, my, my head is healed. My shoulders are healed. My arms and my wrists are healed in the name of Yahushua. I am covered by the blood of the Lamb, by His stripes. I am healed. I walk in wholeness and wellness. Thank you, Yah, for healing me on your Sabbath day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.